Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be going over three must have accessories for your motorcycle or more specifically your lowrider ST and everything that we're going to be talking about can be seen right here. Stick around. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first product that we're going to be looking at today is this Bluetooth remote. Now I bought this Bluetooth remote to uh, operate, um, to help assist with my music on the, my Rockford Fosgate system on the Lowrider ST as well as my internal speakers and my helmet and that type of thing. Now before we get started, I want to tell you this, everything that we're going to be looking at, if you look in the description of the video, all the links will be in there. And so this product I bought on Amazon. Uh, researched uh, a few of them out there, settled on this one. One of the great things about this, it's only $29. All right, now let's talk about ease of operation. I've got the remote and my cell phone here, so I tap that center button for the cell phone. You can tell it connects to Bluetooth, comes online. I can already hear the music going. So I'm going to open up Spotify. We've got some Bruno Mars going on. So if I'm going to hit this up arrow very easily, that's just going to increase the volume. Bring that back down. Let's say I wanted to skip this song. Just hit the button. Should skip to the next song. I'm going to add some volume to it. Bring the volume back down. Let's say I wanted to go back to the beginning of that song or the one before it. Just very easy operation. Perfectly adequate for what I needed. And at $29, I just don't see how you can beat it. All right, let's move on to product number two. All right, product number two that we're gonna be talking about is this handlebar bag by Thrash and Supply. So just a couple of things that I wanna demo about this bag real quick. First of all, as you guys can see, hopefully you can, it's got the high res orange color in here for visibility. One of the things that I love about this pocket, I keep my key fob in here sometimes, but more importantly, for the channel, I've got a small GoPro that I can just reach in here, take out, film a little bit, do whatever I need to do, and then it goes back in there real quick. Just a real easy access for not just a GoPro, but any, anything that you want to put in here. So I've taken the handlebar bag off the motorcycle and brought it inside so I could show you guys some up close features of it. So again, this top zipper here. Again, I took all my stuff out, but you can see that uh, plenty of room for just some odds and ends, that high vis liner. There's another pocket here. The, again, the microfiber for any sunglasses. They've also got another pocket here, but how this attaches to the motorcycle. So you've got four Velcro straps right here. There's two here and there's two here. And these connect to the handlebars or the, or I'm sorry, these connect to the risers that you have as well as two adjustable straps here. So you can uh, shorten these up, lengthen them out to wherever you need them on the motorcycle. And let's see, let's talk about price. So this bag here comes in at $74.95. And I love this thing. It's one of the very first things that I bought for my Lowrider ST. A great bag. I highly recommend it. Again, links in the description below. You guys can snag it on thrashingsupply.com. Now let's talk about a piece of equipment that just about every motorcyclist uses. And that's in some capacity, your cell phone, whether you're using it for navigation or music or whatever the case may be. It's a good idea to have a very reliable handlebar mount for your phone. Now I've used just about every one of them that I can think of that's out there. And so far I've landed on quad lock and it's been uh, it's been a good product for me and I'd like to recommend it for you guys as well. So let's discuss that one. One of the things that I love about the quad lock is the versatility. It's just so easy to use. It just clips right in. It's super stable. It's not going anywhere. And a great thing about this is not only can I use it on my low rider ST, let's pop this off, take it off, but I'm also able to use it on my CVO as well. So that's one of the reasons I love this product. It's very versatile. I can take it off one bike, put it on the other. Very easy, very quick to do. Now let's talk about price. All right, first and foremost, you're going to need to order the basic kit. So I've got the iPhone. So the basic kit for the iPhone runs around $70. Now there's going to be a few other things that you're going to need on top of that. Number one, you're going to need the vibration dampener. So the vibration dampener you're looking at, it's going to run you about $20 extra. You're also going to need the knuckle adapter. So you can kind of twist and turn and get this locked in exactly the way that you want it. So you're talking about another $10 there. So all in all, you're probably looking at a little 
a little close to $100, maybe a little bit over 100 bucks for the whole kit and caboodle. And um, I think so far it's been worth every penny. Well, I do hope this video has been helpful. Again, all the links will be in the description below. If you have any questions, any way, any way that I can help you out, please let me know. If you guys are interested in more Lowrider ST content, I'm going to put a playlist up here for you to check out. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.